You know, in my day, if you wanted music to be portable, you'd put the LP on the turntable, you'd clean it with the dishwasher first, of course, because if you don't clean it with the dishwasher, it's going to have fuzz balls on it, and then you'd put it on a cassette, and then you'd carry the cassette out to the car. You know, when I was young, yeah? we actually had portable record players. They were monophonic. <laughs> you'd carry it with a little handle, yeah. and my record collection filled the wall, right? You were a DJ. That was, of course, in my day, Debbie Boone was the number one. Hey! There's a whole other, hey, I remember her, don't you? I remember her. You remember her? <laughs> yeah, Aunt Debbie, wasn't Aunt it? Debbie. Aunt Debbie. Mm -hmm. You light up. My well, hold on, hold on. If you sing too much, we got to pay some. Oh yeah, we'll have to pay Aunt Debbie some money. Well, well digital music has changed everything. Napster and MP3 made it possible for you to bring your tunes with you everywhere in a little uh, uh, MP3 player. Don't forget the hard work and hardware manufacturers that made those portable. Uh, absolutely, MP3 and and of course, let's not forget the fact that the, no more scratching records. The yeah. quality, some people say, wasn't as good, but I couldn't hear the difference. And it's getting better all the time. Well, I have to say, what I'm excited about now is Apple has taken it to the next step, and that's what Apple's very good at. It's kind of making these evolutionary changes to something that was already a revolution. In this case, it's iTunes, the iMusic Store, and the iPod, the kind of holy trinity of music. I gotta ask, did you have to cut and paste in the 50 million Elvis fans can't be wrong Elvis cover art? No, it comes that way. Is hey, it? let's see if Debbie Boone's in here. <laughs> Are you, you light up, up my life? life. I, am, I am on iTunes. This is the iTunes Music Store. And this is my account. I'm going to show you how easy it is to buy. Oh, I'm sorry. Debbie's it's, not it's on it. It's a Y. Oh, is it a Y? Okay. Well, let's just put Boone in because we can get the whole family. Oh, yeah. You think Bring him on. You think Grandpa's in there? <laughs> I don't know. Well, I see, that's one of the weird explain. things I have to tell you about the uh, Oh, In a Metal Mood, my favorite LP. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's proud of that one. This oh. is... <laughs> he is. <laughs> Wait a minute. Let me see if Debbie's in here. You know, I don't know if Debbie's in here. Aunt Debbie may not be in here. Uh, this, is, uh, this is the music store. Now, there are some weird... Uh, features to this, like, okay, great, I found Pat Boone, but can I find the Beatles? Well, amazingly enough, there's only one Beatles record in this whole store, and it's a bootleg. Apparently, some of the licensing deals were maybe a little uh, scant. In fact, have I found any Beatles? I found one Beatles song, Cry for a Shadow. It's this one Beatles album is the only Beatles album they have in the whole store. But let me show how, how easy it is to buy it. Click Buy Song, put in the password. And I wouldn't even have to do that, frankly, if I didn't click that remember, but I know that Fufu -Fu would steal all my LPs if I did that. <laughs> oh, Foo. Uh, mm -hmm. And now look, I've purchased, whoops, I, if I put the right pat, well, I won't do it, I don't really want But that. you get the idea, folks. Now, and then it copies right over to my iPod. Now, here's the thing we were talking about earlier. You can also share this music. Now, ostensibly, I think Apple's plan right. was sharing it over the LAN. Local. Over your local network, so which you can do with up to three computers. Look at everybody else's. But look what's happened. Let's go over back to uh, Safari here. Spy Mac has a music area, and so does this site called Share iTunes. These are people sharing their iTunes with the public internet. Now, this isn't, they're not actually trading the files, they're just letting people stream them over the internet. Yes. Presumably. In really? fact, there is software out there that will let you steal a file. And that's, really? Yeah, that's kind of where Apple's now getting in a little bit of Dutch. But these are all people, and by the way, I'm on here too. There's that a are phrase you don't hear all the time, a little Dutch, bit of Dutch. A little bit of Dutch. <laughs> I hope Apple solves this. I don't want the record industry to shut it down because, frankly, I think this is the future. As, it's the, future. the one thing that's missing is right now this is major labels, major artists. I want to see Apple make this accessible to independent artists, to any artist that Black wants flag. to sell their music. Exactly. One side dummy record. Because this is the, the, this is the be all and end all music distribution. Yeah. No more disc washer, no more shelf. I have on this, this is a 30 gig iPod, mm -hmm. 7,500 songs. I have literally three weeks of non-repeating music in here. It's awesome. I'm still going to own the CDs as long as I can. Well, that's because you're an old-fashioned kind and of guy. And because I can move them to any format I want. Well, that's true, and we'll talk about that at another date. Well, that we'll, might we'll, be a dark we'll, tip. won't get in trouble. <laughs> Did you enjoy that, ladies? It is wonderful. Are you, are you enjoying my coffee? She is extremely wonderful. <laughs> Check out my article. It's at thescreensavers.com. Patrick, stay where I just want to say one thing. We have the best darn job in the world. Yes, we do. Stay where you are. Coming up, we're going to check in with our land party contestants and see how they're faring playing Battlefield 1942. But next, now is the time when we dance on... Oh, no. You want to dance, change the style of your blog, but keep everything else the same? It's all in Sarah's blog report when the screensavers continues. Hey, there's lipstick on my coffee. Don't worry. Oh, okay. <laughs> It was kind of cute. Oh, look.